In his latest camping vlog, BTS's Jungkook treated fans to more than just a glimpse of his outdoor adventure, he also gave a shout-out to his fellow Hybe artists in the most fun and heartfelt way. As Jungkook packed up and hit the road for his trip, fans noticed how much he enjoyed the music of his Hybe juniors, La Seraphim and Text, during the car ride. When La Seraphim's hit Fearless came on, Jungkook couldn't help but join in, even doing the signature dance move from the song's choreography, showing just how much he loves the track. But the fan favorite moment came when Text Zero by One equals Love Song, I Know I Love You, played, and Jungkook sang along with the lyrics, I Know It's Real, I Can Feel It, which happens to be Taehan's line, a perfect nod to his close friend and workout buddy. Fans were quick to point out how wholesome it was to see Jungkook supporting his label mates with so much enthusiasm. It's another example of the strong camaraderie between BTS and their fellow Hybe artists. Did you enjoy Jungkook's playful support for his juniors? On the latest episode of Running Man, Song Ji Hyo made a grand entrance with a totally transformed visual that had the cast buzzing. The moment Ha Ha saw her, he couldn't help but shout, Michael Jackson. Teasing her for her striking new look. Ji Suk Jin chimed in, asking, Did you get a mission? Song Ji Hyo humorously explained, I was so bored during Chuseok that I got a perm. To which Ha Ha jokingly replied, If you gain a little more weight, you'll look like The Undertaker. Even Yu Jae Suk and Kim Jong Guk couldn't resist joining in, with Yu Jae Suk asking, is that Michael Jackson? Ha ha added, even The Undertaker made an appearance today. To which Song Ji Hyo laughed and said, I just tried frying my hair a bit. This isn't the first time Song Ji Hyo has caught the attention of the Running Man members with her changing looks. Back in May, she appeared on the show with a swollen face after receiving laser treatment. Yu Jae Suk shared the news, explaining, Ji Hyo got laser treatment for the first time in a while, so her face is a bit swollen. Ha ha playfully called her Sarah in English while Ji Suk Jin was surprised at the amount of swelling. Song Ji Hyo took it in stride, confessing, I think my blood circulation is poor. I did 600 shots and didn't know I'd swell up this much. Her candidness about the situation had everyone laughing. Song Ji Hyo's ever-changing looks and humorous responses always keep things fresh on Running Man. On the latest episode of Running Man, Kim Jong Kook found himself in a surprising and humorous role reversal as he became Ha Ha's right-hand man, or as the show put it, his Kukui Musa, loosely translated as Kook's loyal warrior. In this race, the alley leader holds significant power, able to manipulate the other members and choose two to accompany him through the taste alley for a special reward. Once known for his fierce independence and as Yu Jae Suk's reliable sidekick, Kim Jong Kook's new allegiance to Ha Ha brought unexpected laughter to the show. Ha Ha's exaggerated displays of affection, including scratching Kim Jong Kook's chin, had Kim laughing along, marking a shift in the power dynamics among the cast members. The leader of the alley race enjoyed a special privilege, the chance to eat for free. Meanwhile, the remaining members faced the tough decision of either splitting the cost or undertaking a humorous money-spinning mission. This episode's mission required the cast to use only their toes to type out a correct phrase as quickly as possible, leading to a chaotic and hilarious scene. The members grumbled about their difficulties, with complaints ranging from I make typos even with my fingers to I can't even see the keyboard under my feet. The set was filled with laughter as they struggled through the challenge, citing everything from presbyopia to awkward posture. As the battle for alley leadership unfolded, viewers were treated to a wild and comical showdown, with the final winner claiming victory in this unpredictable and power-shifting race. 2K dramas are currently dominating the ratings in South Korea, and if you haven't already, now's the time to add them to your watch list. Love Next Door and Judge From Hell have captured the hearts of viewers nationwide, each offering something unique. Airing on TVN, Love Next Door has seen a surge in viewership as it nears its finale. Its second-to-last episode hit a new peak with a 6.1% viewership, and fans are loving the heartwarming romantic comedy. The story follows a woman who, after living abroad with what seemed to be the perfect life, returns to Korea and rekindles her relationship with a childhood friend, now a successful architect. Viewers are hooked by the emotional moments and chemistry between the leads. On the darker side of K-dramas, Judge from Hell on SBS is pulling in even more impressive numbers, jumping to a 13.1% rating just five episodes in. The gripping fantasy drama tells the story of Judge Kang Bit Na, who is possessed by the demon Eustidia and must punish ten murderers within a year to avoid her own doom. With intense suspense and thrilling supernatural elements, this show has quickly become a fan favorite. Both of these dramas are offering standout performances and captivating storylines that have made them must-watch series. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're excited to catch up on these shows.